Good evening, everyone. I look like a mess. I have been mowing my paths here on the homestead, and it is it is quite the job. Um, I've got 17 acres, almost 17 acres, and when you don't get rain like this, it's all ferns, it's all dust, it's all just nasty. Now, I used to have an old Husqvarna. It's just a little ride-on mower. I think it was 15 horse. And I destroyed that thing mowing my pass. One day, the front wheels both just busted, went two different directions. The, the spindle that does the goes down from the, from the actual engine down to the mower deck, that bent, and there were shavings, and all at once. And I thought, well, that, that pretty much does it. So, I did some research, and there are so many mowers out there. My brother had a Skag, and there's Skag, there's Ferris, there's, you know, if you want to go to your tractor supplies, there's Cub Cadet, there's Bad Boy. There, there's a lot of mowers out there. And I remember going to Tractor Supply and walking up to a Bad Boy, which, don't get me wrong, looks like a decent mower. But I stepped on the mower deck to get on, and it, you know, ching, ching, and it, and it shook. I thought, well, that's interesting. So I did the same thing to all the riding mowers, the normal standard tractors. Same thing. All the mower decks, you step on them, they feel flimsy, they feel weak, they shake side to side. And I thought, you know, I wonder if I should look into getting more of a commercial grade. And... You know, your bad boys, they're nice mowers. I'm, I'm not sure they're quite up to commercial grade. I think they're getting there, especially now that they're starting the tractor line. The tractors look nice. And the lawnmowers look nice, too. But you're looking at, you know, a lot of money. You're looking at over $3,000 for a lot of these, these zero turns. And I'm just not convinced that, that they're going to handle my land. It's bumpy. It's sandy. It's... I mean, I'm just plowing ferns. I'm basically brush hogging every time I mow my pants. Now, I don't know if you're out looking at zero turns, I think it's Ultras, Ultras, I'm not, not sure the name. They have a track mower that actually you can get a brush hog deck on. I'd love to try that out here someday. But anyways, long story short, <laughs> not really short, it's just a long story. I settled on a Skag. So what I did is I actually found a used one with a Kawasaki engine that's liquid cooled. I actually contacted a Skag dealer and said, you know, what do you think of this? And they said, that if you take care of it, that'll be a great mower. Now, I have not taken care of it. <laughs> I've had it for three years. I've done nothing to it. I haven't put new blades on it. I haven't changed coolant. I'm ashamed to say that, guys. <sighs> Life is so busy around here. I just haven't got the time. I'm hoping this year's the time. But if I was to change the sharpen the blades, change the blades. It doesn't go out and hit a stump or something on one of my paths on accident. So I haven't haven't worked up the gumption to actually go do that. But I'm going to show it to you here, guys, and uh, just kind of tell you my thoughts. So here it is. This is a Skag Turf Tiger, as you can see on the side of it. It has a 61-inch deck. And today, I busted off one of my caster wheels three years guys I've never had that happen and I'm gonna have some footage of using this thing it it's pretty impressive that that's the only thing I've had happen in almost three years I 
as you step on this deck. It doesn't move. It's solid. Like I said, my brother had a Skag Turf Tiger. And I went and I saw this one. It was during all the COVID stuff. And I thought, you know what? It's a little older model than his. He's got a little bit nicer one. But it's the same Turf Tiger. And he loves his Turf Tiger. He's got the big Vanguard engine on his. This is just a 22 horsepower Kawasaki. But it does exactly what I need it to do around here. And it is beat up. You see here, there's paint here when I when I first got this. This is anyways. This has been an absolutely great mower for me. I mean you could see how just disgusting everything is. I cleaned that off before I went out today. I mowed for two hours. And that's what that looks like. There's grime. There's dirt everywhere. The poor air filter. I mean, I don't even know how it even operates half the time. But if you're looking looking for a mower, again, is, is a Ferris mower good? Probably. Is a Gravely mower good? Probably. I'm just here to put a good word out for Skag. I actually convinced my brother-in-law to buy a Skag as well, and he loves it. Now, he has a smaller version of this. He has, I believe it's called the Tiger Cub. So a little smaller. I think he's got a 40-some inch deck, 48, I believe. But he loves that thing. It does a great job at his house. It's actually overkill for his house because it's so powerful. Guys, looking for a machine that's going to last you a long time. It's kind of like cars. I wish I wish Ford and you know Chevy, I feel like I wish I could trust their cars. But I've had them in the past. My Chevy I was fixing all the time. Ford, their cars, eh. Their trucks, maybe, yeah. But their cars, eh. Toyota. I have a Toyota truck. Haven't had a problem in years. I feel like Skag might kind of be like the Toyota of the mower industry. You get it, you're good for a long time. Now, did I have a caster wheel fall off? Yes. That happens to everyone. Three years, guys. Caster wheel, and I had to put a tube in the tire because the tires got so old they cracked a little bit. That's it. Oh, correction. One other thing. When I bought it, there was a problem with the... It keeps track of the engine temperature. It was a $12 part, one bolt and a plug. I put that on. So since then... Since I replaced that part when I first bought it, caster wheel, tubes in the tire. So, <laughs> Waffles always has to make it in the video. Waffles, hey girl. She is getting big. She's crazy, very crazy. Check out Skag, guys. Look at the Turf Tigers. I believe there's Turf Tiger 2 now. I think they look even nicer. I haven't had a chance to try one out. But if it's anything like these older versions, pick one up. Pick up a used one, guys. Look for used ones. I don't get the really beat up used ones. There's a lot of those. Look for a nice, good used one. You'll know it when you see it. Thanks for coming and checking out my video. Check out a Skag. You won't be upset that you did.